Titans and Lucha fans, I am Lightning Mike Quackenbush, and this is Jakara's Podcast to Go Go, the weekly forum for talk about your favorite independent wrestling organization, chatter, clips, and all that kind of good stuff. And I am Wiggly, and wow, 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 hey, wow, who is the number five show in dig.com? The podcast section? Chikara Podcast to Go Go, that's who? Right after two soccers. Smart wrestling fan. I don't know if you ever heard of that, but that's a great thing. That's a great podcast. And also then the number one would be ESPN. But I think they have their own like TV show or something like that. That's kind of like cheating in my yeah, mind. Yeah, right. So go to dig.com and dig us. It's D-I-G-G dot com. Now what do we have for today's show, Mike? We have picked some clips for you from our October 2006 event known as Cybernetico Forever. And what you're going to see coming up right now is the 16-bit warrior player Uno, all the way from the great white liberal north of Canada, taking on none other than Excalibur. Have a look. Wow. Player Uno trying to undo those minutes of punishment from Excalibur. Excalibur trying to shrug off that tremendous double stomp. Oh, oh right in the face. Kick to the face. Oh, chop. You can hear that echo up here. Whips to the corner. Oh, double knees waiting for him. Excalibur just crumbles like a, uh, what, a, a sack of walnuts? Something like that? That is absurd. <laughs> you never heard such a Simply thing. Simply absurd. Never heard such a thing. Oh, poke to the eyes. He's very smart. Yeah. I agree with him. He who hesitates gets poked in the eye. Wait a second. Oh, oh. he <laughs> took a second to admire himself. And now uh, he's up on the shoulders. Player knows got, oh! Turns into a uh, neck breaker of sorts. Crucifix pin. Excalibur out at the last second. Not going down like that. Off the ropes. Oh, jeez! Spiked Excalibur. His head bounced off the mat. One, two, whoa! Bouncing like a Super Bowl. Like a Super Bowl. Player knows shrugging it off, but uh, Scalibur might be on the road to being done for. Oof. Another double stomp. The fans clapping rhythmically, which means they agree with him. They want to see what's going to happen next, Mantis. Not very smart. Now, if I was Excalibur, I would move out of the way right now. Whoa! If so you, are we the you same? Are we the same? Are we sharing, the same? You'll never know. Sharing a brain. Kicks away that, that clothesline. German suplex. Excalibur puts on the brakes. German suplex of his own. Beautiful. Look at the bridge up on the toes by Excalibur. Quite nimble, Excalibur is. Quite nimble indeed. This is it, perhaps. Revving up that lariat. Not so much goes through. Oh. That was going to be head drop horrific for Excalibur. Slips out, goes to the near ropes, kick again to the chest. Focusing that, ooh. Potentially below the belt, didn't have a good vantage point there, but he's down, ooh! The exploding clothesline, player no won't stay down. Oh, this could be the Tiger Driver, another one of his pets. Up oh, goes down, if not the hard put, oh, jeez, right on the top of his head. One, two, elementary, my dear Mantis. Excalibur picking up his first singles victory in Chikara. Oh, we just saw player Uno, our 16-bit warrior. He's gone up a few bits since last time. He's got a new GPU and a new FPU and a new FPS and all those type of things. I hope that means something to somebody. Yeah. It means nothing to me. Hey, coming up next, easy, easy. Always first in the express line. Coming up next, we've got a clip here of my former partner, the reckless youth Tom Carter, is going to be taking on our high flying optical. I'm warning you, Whitley. High flying optical illusion Rorschach, and this is from our event Cybernetico Forever. It's come. Seriously, this is going to end in fisticuffs. We're going to the clip. Here it is. Reckless knows many ways to put you away. Likes to use that uh, stretch plum. Likes to use that big frog splash. Maybe a, a condo clutch. Yeah. Oh! Unfurls him into a high contact DDT situation. Pulling him right where he wants him. This could be the frog splash I just mentioned. One, two, three. 
leaping up there, much like a frog would. This is the fit. Oh, good night. One, two. Who's that out? I think I'm as surprised as Reckless is. Thought that'd be it. Very, very resilient. Rorschach digging down deep, finding just the right amount of strength to get that shoulder out the back door. And uh, he's not in good shape, but he's still in this match. Every match just three seconds away from being over. Reckless pulling Rorschach up to a vertical basis, whipping him to the ropes. Duck Gunner, look at this. Northern Light Suplex! Well, follows the round with the bridge, holding on to it. Make it a pair! Look at the bridge! No! Following through, look at this. Perhaps, perchance, three Northern Light suplexes. Whoa! Not sure who's going for there. Maybe an Olympic slam. Gory, Gory, no. Swings around back to his uh, feet as Rorschach. Grabs the wrist of Reckless. Ducks under. Oh! Oh! Dumps him on his head! One, two, no! Two and three quarters! Rorschach, win, lose, or draw. Got to be turning a lot of heads here in Philadelphia. Now instructing the fans to cheer for. That rarely works. Pointing to the top turnbuckle. If it weren't for his aerial moves, he would just be an optical illusion. Reckless almost dead weight now. Pulling him up after that very, very near two and three quarter count. Splits the legs, setting him on the top rope. Oh, when your legs are on the outside of the uh, ropes like that, you're in no man's land. You don't have uh, much, much momentum, much you can do. Uh-oh, Rorschach now go going for that, perhaps a super Olympic oh, oh, oh! Reckless turn it around! Oh, oh, oh! Rorschach, the back of his head, an unceremonious meeting with the canvas of the... Now there's the condo clutch! Steps through, your back's not supposed to bend that way! Rorschach holding on, but I don't know if he has a choice, tap out! Victory for the King of the Indies! That was a great match. That was a good match. <laughs> Brought tears to Wiggly's oh. eyes. Now, if you That's like that match, if you were moved half as much by that match as Wiggly, you should rush right over to smartmarkvideo.com and pick up Cybernetico Forever and all our fine Chikara DVD titles. Uh, do we have another clip? Are we going to another clip? No, this is uh, this is the yeah. end part of the yeah. podcast. Okay, so uh, you've got to go to ChikaraPro.com. Uh, especially this week, you need to reserve tickets for King of Trios. If you didn't buy them in advance, you have to reserve them. Email ChikaraWrestling at AOL.com to reserve your tickets. And we'll see you February 16th in Hellertown, the 17th at Barnesville, and the 18th down at the New Alhambra, that of course is the former ECW Arena, in South Philadelphia for all three nights of King of Trios. It's our biggest weekend of the year. Don't be left out. And Wiggly will keep on making podcasts regardless. Tell them. Yeah, just go to acme.com or uh, shoprite.org. Find out everything at wigglysworld.com, and we'll be right here, uh, probably not in the same type of situation, I would have to I assume. I not. No. Uh, but uh, come back next week and find out what happens. That's Wiggly. I'm Lightning Mike Quackenbush. We'll see you next Monday on Chikara Podcast A Hobo. Bye-bye. Don't be surprised to find a ride.